Welcome in, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got what should be a good one between the Miami Dolphins and the Los Angeles Rams. I'll see you again with scores and updates at halftime. But for now, it's my distinct pleasure to hand things over to our broadcast team. It's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Gentlemen. On a pretty gray and hazy day here in Southern California, EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to Los Angeles. A few short moments ago, running back Todd Gurley trying to fire up the Ram faithful here in Southern California as his guys get set to do battle with the Miami Dolphins. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Zerline, the Rams kicker, approaches, kicks it off, and here we go from Los Angeles. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he'd taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. Leading him out is going to be their quarterback. That's the grizzled vet, Ryan Fitzpatrick. One thing that I think Ryan Fitzpatrick doesn't get enough credit for is his toughness. This is a guy who plays through injuries, but it's also being mentally tough, knowing that everyone's always trying to move him out of the lineup, trying to find a replacement for him, yet he continues to battle and has earned the total respect of his teammates. Check, check, Why 54, Why 54. Fitzpatrick on first down. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. Time to feature the offensive starters and our first chance to get a look at Parker. Devontae Parker came out of Louisville with a guy who was known as a mature receiver. Runs routes really well, but the best part of his game, he'll jump over you at the end of a route and go get the football. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Now Fitzpatrick throwing middle, but it's incomplete. The defense here for the Rams. I got a kick out of talking last year with Aaron Donald about how when he came out of college, many NFL teams thought he might be undersized to play defensive tackle. Instead, he's been a perennial all-pro, Pro Bowl player since day one, and offenses are still searching for ways to block him and keep him from disrupting their offense. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. From the shotgun, it's Fitzpatrick. He's got a man, it's Williams. 18 big yards on that one, and a Miami first. there at all maybe a yard up to the 43 well we saw him there trying to get it to the outside trying to get to the perimeter but not a whole lot of room there but there's got to be one positive to that if you keep moving laterally creases tend to develop as the game moves on and they can run it back inside later now the former fourth round pick it's Kalen Balazs 
Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. On third down, Fitzpatrick. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And to the 46, he goes in no further, so he is well short of the first down marker. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. On fourth down, Matt Hawk to punt it away. JoJo Natson back deep for the Rams. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They'll be led out by their quarterback, the guy out of California, the former Cal Bear, Jared Goff. While in college, quarterback teams that improved their win total from one his freshman year to five his sophomore year to eight his junior year. Love that type of improvement. Love that type of diligence. Golf will lead the Rams up here, first and 10 at the 20. From the gun, here's Golf. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now the first carry here for Todd Gurley. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Here's Gall. His throw incomplete. He was in search of his tight end, Tyler Higby, and it's third and short. The headshots here are the offensive unit, and what about Brandon Cooks? If he's not a 1,000-yard receiver every year he's healthy in the league, I'll be surprised. Came out of college wanting to be a pro, studied all the best receivers in the NFL before he even got to the league. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. Yeah, I don't think Gurley got there. Looks like the defense held him back. The defense stiffens to force fourth down following that first down gain of eight. Not the result they were looking for there on third down. They end up taking a loss on the play. The only person happy now, the punter, gets to go out there and show mom that he gets to play in the game. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Back deep is Trevor Davis. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And last time out, they had to punt the football away. Anything positive possibly to take from that? There always is when, when you're putting the football away. It doesn't sound like it because you're giving it up, but you've avoided a mistake. At least you didn't turn it you over. You didn't I turn guess. it over, right? You're giving it, you're giving your defense a chance because you're punting the ball away and they're set to go on the field as opposed to sudden change after a turnover. Wow, now we've got to go out there and stop people. So, yeah, there's always something bonds to be gained from it. You better be afraid of me. On first and 10, Fitzpatrick. 
Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Credit that sack to Dante Fowler, Jr. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. Throwing Fitzpatrick. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down. Then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back. But it's a big play. They've got to hold up. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Working out of the gun, Fitzpatrick. And that will be incomplete. Had to pass there, third and long on your own side of the field. Just couldn't come up with anything. That's why teams always talk about having to win the early downs, meaning you've got to gain yardage and set yourself up for third and short because when it's third and long, the odds go down significantly trying to pick up the first down, even throwing the football. Here's Matt Hawk now, standing just outside his own goal line. And maybe getting a little too cute there on the punt return. Sometimes they forget Paramount holding on to that football. I really do believe most of the return guys think to themselves, when I get the ball, I'm going to make the play that's going to change the I'm game. I'm going to break it. I'm going to break it. And you love that they have that attitude, but your point is so well taken. What do you have to do? First and foremost, hold on to it. Take care of the football. That's all he needed to do. Golf will lead the Rams up here, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. A shotgun snap for Golf. He gets it to Cooks. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. And a look at the starters for the Miami defense. The competition to go to the Pro Bowl at safety is fierce in the NFL. But Rashad Jones makes his case year in and year out as one who should go. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Back to throw, Goff. He'll get this complete to Cooper Cup, And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. That's a gain of 13 first down Rams. Well, they obviously read man coverage there, partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro, bro, bro. Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route. Probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. They go play action with Gurley. Now gone. They'll get this one to cop complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A game there of 30 big ones. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? Got caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. Where 
So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Out of the gun, gone. And Woods has it complete. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes when they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Two yards, good enough for a first. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive, much more polished. Just looking crisper, aren't they? Moving the ball. Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, okay, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. Pretty effective run there, and now they can start to smell that end zone. Pound the rock. Make sure you use your old line to set the tone of dominance and physicality, and pound the rock. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Here's gone. And it's caught for a Rams touchdown by Brandon Cooks. It's a six-yard touchdown pass as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Rams take a 7-0 lead. So that one, an eight-play drive, it spans 75 yards. And the result for the Rams, a touchdown. Touchdown at Zerline. He'll kick it away. This is taken at his four. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, Everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? So first and 10 now from the 30. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> They'll start on the ground with Belage. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Play action, Fitzpatrick. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Aaron Donald with a sack. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work.
Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Fitzpatrick. And this is Parker, complete. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. The Rams go nickel here defensively on third. From the gun, Fitzpatrick. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. What I loved about meeting with these coaches before the game is we didn't even have to ask any questions. They told us that they were going to be aggressive and push the ball downfield. They weren't successful on that play, but look for them to try it again later. Here's Matt Hawk now as he's on to punt for Miami. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Now it's gone. And he'll find his target. Woods, it's complete. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 at a first down. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. back at the 40. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. And that was well defended, and as a cornerback, what you're taught when you see a wide receiver screen, either you get underneath the play before the blocking forms, or you're gonna have to fight your way through it by getting through some blocking. That was a really nice play there. My Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Goff now to throw. He's going to dump it off to Gurley. And he'll only get this to the 47. He needed a few more yards to pick up the first. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. This is away and a very good kick, angled for the sidelines. And this one's out of bounds, should be inside the 10, I think it is, at the six-yard line. 
So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong? You know, back and forth like that? That uh, definitely was excellent, wasn't it? Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. So far, they've had three drives, three punts. Not good. Not good indeed, because you've got to have something to show for being out on the field. Now, sometimes, if you have a game where neither side has scored, three punts isn't a bad thing. But when you're trying to set the pace, get up on top in a game, you got to show better offense and find a way to put some points on the board. They'll start with a give here to Balazs. And he's going to take this up past the 10 to about the 11. Corey Littleton there on the tackle. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Here we've got tight left. Watch tight end. Watch tight end. Key to Key to tight end. Watch tight end. On the delay, it's Barrage. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Plays like we just saw there, that's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. To throw on third down. Fitzpatrick looking middle, and that's complete. And they'll get him down up past the 15, just shy of the 20. The Miami first down, that one going for a gain of 11. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. down Fitzpatrick looking for his running back and he's got him and he's going to get this one across the 30 yard line give him 12 yards there and the Dolphins have a first down nice little nifty play for him there yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily and I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield because I know that when I used to cover Hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 14. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. Oh, and that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air, and then it's the tip drill and good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And they'll be looking to avoid what happened last time, which is punting the football. But when you look at how teams play the game, that complementary football comes into play. How do I take care of my defense? How do I take care of my offense? Well, the defense is taking care of them in a lot of ways. Now it's time for the offense to jump things up and help their defense out, give them a little bit of rest. Yeah, time, time for them to give them a rest. Took the words right out of my mouth. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 27. They'll start out on the ground with Gurley. And not a whole lot doing there, so he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Delayed give, golf to Gurley. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports.
Check. 180. Check. 55. Goodbye. Record. Record. Right on oh, third down, they'll run it with Gurley. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Well, after an interception, last thing you want to do is go three and out, give the ball right back. They avoided that. Yeah, you definitely do not want to do that. I remember in college, I played with a really big-time player on defense. We ended up getting an interception as we passed the offense coming out. He told him, if you don't take care of this football, You'll have to answer to me later. You definitely want to take care of it, pick up first downs. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. You ain't doing nothing today. Goff turns and gives to Gurley. Fighting down past the 45. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. It's a Rams first down on a pickup of 10. And a nice little broken tackle run there by Todd Gurley, the 10th pick in the 2015 draft. And that's what you get with him, that full package of speed, power, able to catch the ball in the backfield. Many people doubted him coming out because of the knee injury in college. <laughs> They're seeing the full Todd Gurley now, and it hurts. Here we go, tonight. 180. On first down, it's Gurley. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. on this drive so far. It's first and ten. A run here with Brown. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Here comes carry number 10 for Gurley, and he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Gurley again here on first down. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Goff going to hand it to Gurley. And he'll get it down inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. And he'll get this down close to a first down at about the Dolphins' 18-yard line. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. They'll find Everett there, complete. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. They'll get just a couple, but the sticks move again. At first glance, I thought he just used his size in order to win the route, but he also had a little subtle move in there as well. Made the defender think he was going one direction, 
I was able to track the ball in another. Goff now. Only one pass has hit the ground for him. 10 of 11 thus far. It's first and 10. Now Goff will hand this one to Gurley. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. What? Black 20! Now on second down, this is Gurley. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Rams tack on to their advantage. And there you go. Nothing really too complex. Block, keep your assignments. Let them run it in. They did it. Fundamental football. Good blocking. Beats good tackling on that play. End result, touchdown. Zerline now for the PAT. And it's good to make it 14-0. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And last year's rushing and total touchdown leader Todd Gurley caps it with his first of the game here. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. He's got to dig deep here, doesn't he? Team's losing. He's not playing well either. And they always tell you, don't press. You'll make things a little bit worse. But in this particular situation, you try and heighten your play a little bit. So far, he's thrown one interception. He wants to balance that off with at least one touchdown pass in order to get his team back moving forward. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And go, down go. he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Dolphins have a first down. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. We ain't giving them nothing to do. They'll try the left side. Larry. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks, and when you don't, that's the result you end up with. On second and 11 now, Fitzpatrick, and this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. We've already seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is, because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. To throw, Fitzpatrick. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. The screen gets seven, but it's not enough, and it'll be fourth down. They dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. 
Here's Matt Hawk now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked out at about the three-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. A good job in the passing game. Decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally you run to set up the pass. Here it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. And he's upended at the six as they double their room to maneuver on a pickup of three. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about to us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Well, let's go ahead and detail this situation here. Third and long coming up, back near your own goal line. I would be very hesitant about throwing the football in this situation. Maybe just run, run up the middle. Yeah, I think that that might be the spot for them. You got to try and find some space for your punter because you don't want him backed up where he has to alter what he does. The Rams on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and nine. Back to the workhorse today. It's Gurley. And he'll be taken down for a loss back at the three. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Here's Johnny Hacker now as he's on to punt for L.A. And he's able to get it out of there, and this is a pretty good kick. Returnable here for Davis. He'll be hard-pressed to match that one. That a 65-yard punt. And it'll be Dolphin football. Getting set to go again on offense, here's Devontae Parker now. They've got to be thinking, how can we get him a little bit more involved here? Second quarter, you're down, and really, he's been out of the mix. I would agree with that, and oftentimes you hear, well, we're just taking what the defense is giving us, but sometimes that's just not good enough. Sometimes you have to take what you want, and that means getting him the football. Yeah, so far, just a single catch in this game. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Play action now, Fitzpatrick. And he finds Parker here, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 17 yards for the Dolphins there as they've got themselves a first down. One of the selling points at the in route is against the quarterback, a really nice sight line to his receiver, and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. This quarterback now, 9 of 15, throwing the ball, 60%, and it's first and 10. Off the play fake here, Fitzpatrick. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. A little too aggressive defensively, and the flag comes out. And no one trying to cover is going to like a call going against them, but you have to like the effort there. Went for the interception, just unable to get it, and the flag did come out. First foray into the red zone for Miami. First and 10 at the 19. Now Fitzpatrick. 
eluding the pressure right. And now, now Fitzpatrick hit. It's out. He lost the football. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. He had gained really good yardage, but that's what you tell your quarterbacks, right? Get down after you got the run. You don't have to prove your toughness. You know, I think that's what a lot of coaches are trying to preach to their guys. Get the yardage, get down, protect the football, and protect yourself from extra hits as well. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here, that could really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling right now. But this is the NFL. How many times have we watch 14 to nothing leads evaporate and quickly? Mm. So how, do we, how have we seen them combat it? Continue to run your offense, but don't back off at all. Don't start looking don't at the die. clock. Don't start thinking don't about, hey, just take care of the football. You Keep attacking, me. usually the best me. way to maintain control. <laughs> now it's Gurley. And some room for him there as he'll take this up to about the 15. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Playing against a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, if you can handle the nose tackle up front and then maybe a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 12-yard line. He'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. Well, with the kind of half he's had, I think we can forgive him that run, right? Not every run's going to be a big play, is it? No, and also the blocking just wasn't there. No room to run. Yeah, defensively, they got to find a way to build on that because he's eating them alive in the first half. The Rams on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and seven. From the gun, here's gone. And that one's complete to Gurley. It's a Rams first down on a pickup of 10. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Here comes a 20th carry for Gurley. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Now gone. And Cooks has it over the middle. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. now as they come up on first and ten. They run. It's Gurley. And getting this just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. First down Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. Yeah, another good run there. He's been such a big part of their success here this afternoon. And that last carry, it puts him over 100 yards now for the day. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Here's Gurley. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. 
This is Brown on the draw play. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. up there and a first down for L.A. And he went in route there from the slot for the completion. Love how he runs his routes because it's all setting up your defender. Give him a little something one way, take it the other way. Head and shoulder fake. Sometimes you make one step to the outside and break it inside. Really well run route. It's Brown, and he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. Coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Robert Woods, the intended receiver that time. And it's third down. Maybe a little over-anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't, because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. It wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield, and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. Gone. He gets it to Gurley, complete. It'll be a three-yard gain, and that'll bring up fourth down. You got it. It's fourth down. So on fourth down, here comes Greg Zerline to try and get three for the Rams. And Zerline's kick is good. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays. You don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. Half of the made field goal. Zerline back out there now to send this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Getting set to go again on offense, here's Devontae Parker now. You would have to think they're going to make it more of a priority to get him the football. You're losing here in the second quarter, and he's been really quiet. I think all we have to do, and it's too bad we can't actually see the actual play sheet now from the coordinator, because he's looking down at that and saying, OK, do I put him in different spots? Do I try and isolate him? What routes do I run? You're exactly right. They've got to get the ball in his hands and get their offense kick-started. He does have the two catches, but pretty quiet so far. A first down throw for Fitzpatrick. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. 
That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Play fake. It's Fitzpatrick. And this is caught. It's Parker. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 43. It's a game of 25 yards. First down, Miami. Go. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Fitzpatrick got his man it's Williams and he'll get it down on the play to the 37 the Dolphins going to take their second timeout as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half six yards was the pickup on the last completion so here's second and four they go play action. Fitzpatrick. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. They'll throw again, Fitzpatrick. And he finds a man with a crossing round. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. This is first and goal, and a golden chance to get a score back here before halftime. Again, it's Fitzpatrick. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. When you got your backs in the shadow of your goal line, you've got to be physical in that situation because there's not a whole lot of space, not a lot of wild plays that can be run there. And it's put up or shut up time. Defensively, nice job just to make sure they didn't complete it on that play. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Fitzpatrick again. The quick slant caught. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. To the air again, Fitzpatrick. And down he goes. Fitzpatrick sacked. Clay Matthews brings the heat and gets the sack. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one is maybe not exactly in the bag yet, but there is definitely a big mountain to climb in this third quarter. The teams are already back out there, so let's not waste any time as we'll turn it back over to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three.
The Rams going to get the football first here, and they look to build on their lead as the second half gets started. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 27. Back to throw, Golf. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. They run out of the shotgun with Gurley. And at a 42-yard line here and brought down there. Four yards the pick up, first down third quarter and you've got the lead you're not ready to go into that four minute offense to close the game out but a running game can really benefit your team right now on first down it's gone fighting to stay upright he's gonna dump it off to Gurley and he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. They go play action with Gurley. Now gone. They'll find Everett there, complete. 16 yards is the pick up there and a first down for L.A. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense and reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. They like going to him in the slot, he catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well, great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Now it's golf off the bootleg. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Charles Harris gets him for a loss of 10 yards from his linebacker spot. But nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. So Goff, he'll try to refocus after the sack. The Rams now set up with a tough one, a third and long. A play fake to Gurley. Now gone. And he's going to go down again. We've watched this a long time, and I still don't believe we get it. Third and long, why are you calling play action? Yeah, because they're not going to bite defensively, right? No, not at all. I did have a coach explain to me years ago that for some teams, that's how they have to deal with pass protection and their line blocking, but to me it seems silly. Yeah, well, they're silly, and that leads to a play action sack.
Here's Johnny Hacker now. He's been terrific so far. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the time. How many time. plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're Mike, really Mike, scripting Mike. more like 8 to 10. Mike, kind Mike. of a starter or an opener, whatever they, whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. The drive will commence with a run by Balazs. Gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Here's Fitzpatrick. Hit from behind, and he's going to be driven down. Marching in for the sack, Michael Brockers. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. So now after the sack, third and long, and Fitzpatrick and company, a little work to do. On play action, Fitzpatrick. Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Clay Matthews picks up his second sack of the afternoon. I think we've seen this before. Someone's down three scores. That situation there, it's just going to add to their growing frustrations, don't you think? Yeah, a bad number three right now. Three-score game, third quarter, three and out, not what they wanted. And you can tell on the sideline, those faces are getting a little bit longer as this one goes. Here's Matt Hawk now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Now Natson. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and 10. And the Rams getting set to go now. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. Now Gurley. And an alley to run. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That's a gain of 13 first down Rams. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves them with a second and three. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. By 20. On the draw, Goff gives to Gurley. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. Well, Brandon, he's had a great day, but sometimes 
The other guys make a play against you. What's that expression they like to use in the NFL? Those guys get paid too, you know. Yeah, in college they say, hey, they're on scholarship too in the NFL. They're getting paid too. With the day he's had, you can have one go in the wrong direction. The Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Here's gone. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And the Dolphins getting set to go here. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space, and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game. And that three and out on the last possession, that told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. Play action now. Fitzpatrick. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Albert Wilson, the intended receiver there. And that'll bring up second down. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing again, Fitzpatrick, he's got it to Williams. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Now after the completion, we're gonna get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we get back. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. And to give this time to the tailback, and he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Third down turns to first with that five-yard pickup. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A draw play now. Barrage. And that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage will be found. Second and 13, Fitzpatrick. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throw in Fitzpatrick. Oh, it's a screen pass, that's complete. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. And the screen only good for three that time, and it'll bring up a fourth down. 
Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion. And what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Here's Matt Hawk now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Right. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and ten at the 20. From the gun, here's Golf. Open man, Higby, the tight end. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. The completion good for three and it's second down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. Now second and seven from the 23. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Tight end right. Tight end right. Hey, hey. Goff wants to throw on third and one. And able to find Higby. It's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Goff now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Again, Goff. Open man is Higby, the tight end. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Throwing again is gone. He gets it to Cooks. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. The last catch nearly got him a first, but it did not, and they'll try to convert on third and inches. Then he'll find his target, Woods. It's complete. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. They dialed up the blitz on third down, and your worry is a defense that they can hit you with a big play in that situation. Instead, the blitz pays off, able to rally to the football and make the play. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he's on to punt for L.A. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. 
The Dolphins offense now heads back on the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. <laughs> He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, <laughs> all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this uh, drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, <laughs> hey, listen, there's, some, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. I can't believe they let you play. They go play action here on first down. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And now the Rams have got it. Going the other way. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. He didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. Getting set to go again here on offense. Jared Goff trots back onto the field. And the passing game, I mean, look at the numbers. It's fallen off. When a team is struggling, sometimes you look at the quarterback. When the quarterback starts to struggle, who goes? So they need to determine if that knee was down before the ball was coughed up. And they also wanted to make sure that the ball the was possessed as they were going through, that the ball wasn't working its way free before the knee hit the ground. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? The whole game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Here we go. They'll keep it on the ground. Laird. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. This defense tough to run against, and those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get them for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after contact when they wrap up like that. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Another drive comes and goes. Still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. You just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. Here's Matt Hawk now, as he's on to punt for Miami. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Jared Goff and the Rams headed back onto the field. How do you break down his game so far? Just the one touchdown pass, but sometimes the touchdown pass stat category, that doesn't tell the whole story. It really doesn't, not until you balance it with the error side. You know, and in this case, he hasn't thrown any interceptions. So a lot of people would call this almost a pedestrian game, kind of a bus driver game, but that's just really wrong. Being a bus driver is a good thing if you're running a football team because that means you're in control and you're taking your team to the right places. Yeah, he's been pretty solid. A good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left side. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. 
fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right? Safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. They're going to need some therapy after this. Now golf. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. Watch the curl. Watch the curl. He's crazy. Now gone. Looking for Cooks, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard, and his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. If they needed a break. They needed to make a play here in the third quarter. Defensively, they did that. Now they got to go quickly and get some points on the board. And the best part is that they made their own break, taking the ball away. Now they just look at their offense and saying, guys, let's go. Come on, capitalize on this one. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now. I would say so, and they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot positions. more than normal, put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Belage. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Again, it's Balazs. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to bring up a third and about seven left. They've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Rams calling on their nickel set here defensively for third down. From the gun, Fitzpatrick. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he brings this up to the 46, good enough for the first. He's up to 88 yards receiving in the ballgame now, and he's got a first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. This quarterback now, perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. 
Working out of the gun, Fitzpatrick. A complete. This is Albert Wilson. And he'll take this from one 47-yard line to the other. A gain of six. A gain of six there on first. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Looking to throw again on second down. Fitzpatrick. And that's incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Mike Gesicki. And it's third and four. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. To the air again, Fitzpatrick completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams' 29-yard line. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. Four yards on the pickup, and that'll make it a second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Going again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Now the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. So they need six yards here on third down. They're two for two on third down tries so far on this drive. Now Fitzpatrick, and Wilson has it. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Fitzpatrick again. Hearns brings it in, and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Calling a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Well, big man with ball. Met bigger man on the other side of the line. A really nice play for the defense. They come out here in the eye. This is third and goal. Still looking for the first points of the game. They try to run this one in. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense. So on fourth down, Dolphin kicker Jason Sanders comes on from the right hash and this one just a chippy. Sanders kick is good. And they're on the board at least here. It's now 17 to three. 
Well, with that field goal, you can argue they needed to get back within two scores, and they did indeed do that, but still a pretty uphill battle. Still going to take two fourth-quarter touchdowns to get back into it. As you and I know, that's a tall order against any NFL defense. They're going to need their own defense to make some plays as well to give them an opportunity. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. This one taken from the seven. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Getting set to go again here on offense, Jared Goff trots back onto the field. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for him, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. Golf will lead the Rams up here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They go back to the air here after the IMT on the last drive. And he's got the hook up here. It's Woods. A gain of six there on first. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Six yards was the pick up on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now a draw as Goff gives to Gurley. And they got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they won't put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. A play fake to Gurley. Now gone. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Despite the lead here in the fourth, they're still taking shots. Not content to sit on this lead at all. And to me, it raises the question of, What's right in this game My nowadays? Do you sit on the ball and run it because you have enough of a lead? Or do you try and extend it because you always feel like the other team can come back? Extend it. Have some fun. Meanwhile, Goff to Gurley as he drops it on for his running back. It'll be a gain of nine, and that'll bring up a third and one. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. Call. This is caught. It's Cooks. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 40. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory right at the 40. Goff throwing again. And he's going to be taken down. Goff is sacked. Christian Wilkins credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. Brandon, more often than not, you'd say they've had his number, and we can count them up so far. One, two, three, four sacks given up. But guess what? 
He's still been able to make some plays, and right now they have a lead. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Here's gone. And that's complete to Cooks. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead, confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish because strategy would tell you run the football, run the clock down. Instead, they're letting him throw it because they feel that confident in what he's getting done. They'll get this one to cop complete. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. This to make it a three-score game late. Zerline's kick is up and through. And that'll push the lead up to 17. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen, and you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Now, aren't I, though? Field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Push them back. Push them back. On first and ten, Fitzpatrick. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? Second and six, just inside the 30. To throw is Fitzpatrick. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Seven yards there and a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Fitzpatrick on first down. Quick hitter here. It's complete. That throw good for four. It's second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second six. They'll throw again, Fitzpatrick. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Defense. 
So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. Again, it's Fitzpatrick finding his safety valve here. That's complete. A gain of four on the play, and it'll be a second down. Four yards on the pick up. Second and six at the Rams' 33-yard line. 24 is the mark. Raise the hands. On second down, Laird had a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. They'll keep it on the ground. Laird. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. First down throw for Fitzpatrick. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. Michael Brockers able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Fitzpatrick. And a completion to Wilson. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 18 big yards on that one and a Miami first. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. First down. Come on, fellas. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really that's really a whole <laughs> cool. lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're gonna sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. From the shotgun, it's Fitzpatrick. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. From three yards out, and the Dolphins are able to cut into this lead. The big fellow was the recipient there for that touchdown pass, and it seems like more and more the tight end is the guy you have to worry about most in the passing game.
Jason Sanders now for the extra point. Oh, and this is blocked. This is going the other way. Does the big boy have the juice? He's at the 40. But he will not be able to bring this one back in the extra point attempt. Unsuccessful. Well, times have definitely changed on the, on the PAT, on the extra point, haven't they? A lot more effort goes into this play from both sides. Yeah, because let's face it, a lot of time on extra points, the effort is not what it is when you're trying to block a field goal. No, no doubt about it. And before, when the ball was snapped on the two-yard line, it was really a virtual chip shot. Now everyone believes they can get to it and knock it away. And we know how crucial every point is. So the defensive guys, they spent a lot more time trying to get that done, which means there's more pressure on the offensive guys trying to kick it. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the hands team for the Rams able to secure the football. Uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. And it looks like this will be the last play before the two-minute warning. It's just me and you. What? They go play action here on first down. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. So it's Rams football here as we get your reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. On the handoff, it's Gurley. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. And now on third down, they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first. Out of the gun. Gone. And Woods has it complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Now a handoff for Gurley. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Throwing now, Goff. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Well, a clear running situation, trying to take time off the clock. He ran the previous play, set that play action up nicely. Boy, did they ever, because they had shown the ability to run the football, so now you lose your keys as a defense. You died for the running play, and they hit them over the top. Third and two, golf. 
And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed, if there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. Right hash mark of 42-yard attempt. And Zerline's kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. After the main field goal, Zerline back out there now to send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Fitzpatrick and the Dolphins now down by two touchdowns, 47 seconds remaining. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. here Fitzpatrick caught it's Wilson and they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44 first play of the drive a success 19 yards first down now but that clock rolling Fitzpatrick now to throw on first down Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Dante Fowler in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. So the L.A. Rams with a victory here. And I think the game balls need to be distributed on the defensive side of the football, and I bet that you would agree. Yeah, if you hold a team under 10 points, that's a job well done. Really well done. So I would say game balls for every starter and every key player who participated in this game. Now, see, I, I only like one game ball. You you're, like you're, one handing game out, ball? you're handing out multiple, although I set you up by saying game balls, plural, yeah, but yeah, I... But, but I, I like where we're going with this, though. You say one to I, represent, yeah. like, the best player of all yeah. of that, and I say multiples so that you keep everyone motivated and involved. You're a man of the people. I'm a man of the people. You... I thought I was the only child. You yes, get a game ball, child. and you get a game ball. <laughs> game balls for everybody. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Rams are victorious here as we say so long from Exposition Park in L.A.